Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of Diophantine Exponential Equation. X and Y both are positive integers. We have to find out ordered pair X, Y. See because of it is Diophantine Exponential Equation, it will carry all the properties of exponential. So I will begin by writing one exponent property which is very very useful a power b whole power c is equal to a power b times c. So if I will put both sides power 1 over x then see what will happen x power 50 whole power 1 over x. So now we can take the product by the same property. I will write y equal to x power 50 over x. This is our y as a function of x exponential equation. Okay, now see x and y both values are integers. So to y value has to be integer, 50 over x should be integer. Conclusion is straight away simple. For y value to be integer, 50 over x has to be integer. And once 50 over x has to be integer, 50 over x belongs to integer. Then x must be divisor of 50. Okay. So let's find out the factors of 50. So we will get 1, 2, 5, 10, 15 is not there, 25 and last 50. They, there are 6 factors. If I will put x equal to 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, 50, then our exponent will come out integer. Once exponent is integer, y value will be integer because x is integer. So integer raised to the power integer, you will get integer. All right. So what we are going to find out, we will find out the six values and we will check. Okay. Let me consider the first case. Let me write here x. Then I will write y equal to x power 50 over x. And then we will write our case. So 1, 2, 5, 10, 25 and 50. Okay, let's put the value x equal to 1. So it will become 1 raised to the power 50 over 1. That means 1. So here I will write ordered pair. So that ordered pair will be 1 comma 1. Now 2. So I will write 2 raised to the power 50 over 2. So 2 raised to the power 25. That means ordered pair is 2 comma 2 raised to the power 25. 5. 5 raised to the power 50 over 5. So 5 raised to the power 10. Ordered pair will be 5 comma 5 raised to the power 10. Okay x equal to 10. So if I will put x equal to 10, then it will become 50 over 10. It will come out 10 raised to the power 5. Ordered pair will be 10 comma 10 raised to the power 5. x equal to 25. 25 raised to the power 50 over 25. I will get 25 raised to the power 2. So this value will be 25 comma 25 is square and last value is 60, 50. So I will write 50 raised to the power 50 over 50. So value will be 50, 50 comma 50. If you will check then these are 6 ordered pairs for which we were solving this problem. Now I will show you one more approach from where we can find out the first one 
and the last one by one assumption and the remaining four by the second assumption. I will quickly give the brief about that, that method. I will consider the given functional equation y equal to x power 50 over x. Then I will bifurcate the values of x in three domain. First one is x equal to y. Second one is x less than y. Third one is x greater than y. First case, just put x equal to y. So equation will be what I will write x power x in original form if I will write. I will write here. So x power x equal to x power 50. So by dividing because x not equal to 0 for this equation. So I can write x power x divided by x power 50 equal to 1. So x power x minus 50 equal to 1. See this is another approach we can think about. So from here we will get two solutions. See this is a power b equal to 1 form. So I can apply the condition. Three conditions will come out. See what is rule? Base is equal to 1. Okay. But at the same time power should be real number. So yes, if x is 1, then 1 minus 50 minus 49, which will be real, no doubt about it. Second case, power is 0, that means x is equal to 50. At the same time, that x will be, it, it should be base real. Okay, that base should be non-zero value. So once x is 50, then automatically it is non-zero, 50 is non-zero. So 50 is also one solution. Third, base is negative 1, it is not accepted. Why? Because of we are looking for x, y positive integer. So two solutions you are getting from here, x equal to 1 and x equal to 50, the extreme boundaries. So you can find out the value of y directly just by putting here x equal to 1, then y equal to 1, x equal to 50, then y equal to 50. So 1 comma 1 and 50 comma 50 is available for you. Now you will put the same logic again that is y equal to x power 50 divided by x. If y has to be integer, 50 over x should be, must be integer. If 50 over x has to be integer, then x must be divisor of 50. So again you will write the factors of 50, 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, uh, 25 and 50. See there are 6 values. Now we have already calculated x1 and x50. So you can examine this one and last one. Now you will do the same thing as we have done. Okay. As we have done, you will check from where x is, we are getting the values. Only just pass the value of x, collect the value of y. You will get the same as we have done. So this is again one more approach. This approach is called x less than y and similarly you can do for x greater than y where you won't get any solution. So it is up to you. Direct method is always better. The first one that is better. No case, nothing at all. So you can collect that value, write that answer. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.